In the tranquil world of frogs, the advent of spring signals a tumultuous mating season. This is a time when male frogs display an unwavering determination to find a mate, leading to a frenzied spectacle of amphibian courtship. But amidst this chaos, some female frogs find themselves in a perilous situation. They must navigate a delicate dance for their survival as overeager males pile onto them in what? Scientists have aptly termed mating balls. This extraordinary tale of the frog kingdom was unveiled through a groundbreaking study featured in the Royal Society Open Science Journal. The research was spearheaded by Carolyn Dittrich, a postdoctoral researcher at the Conrad Lorenz Institute of Ethology in Vienna, who serendipitously stumbled upon the secrets of frog courtship. As the European common frogs gather for their annual reproductive extravaganza, the males engage in a mating frenzy, attaching themselves to females with fervor. The result can be an intense and sometimes life-threatening entanglement. With several males clinging to a single female, there's a risk of drowning or injury. But, in an astonishing display of survival instincts, the female frogs have evolved a toolkit of strategies to outwit their overenthusiastic suitors. Their arsenal includes 1. Evasive maneuvers. Female frogs perform acrobatic feats to rid themselves of unwanted attention. They use evasive tactics to flip males off and escape the mating balls, ensuring their safety. 2. Identity disguise. Some females employ a clever ruse, disguising their identities to confuse the males. This makes it challenging for the males to single out their preferred mates. 3. Playing dead. Perhaps the most remarkable tactic observed is the art of playing dead. Female frogs enter a state of tonic immobility, appearing lifeless with stiffly extended limbs. This macabre performance dissuades male advances. Dr. Dittrich's research defied conventional wisdom regarding frog mating behavior. It unveiled female frogs as active participants in the mating process, equipped with a repertoire of strategies to ward off overly persistent males. The phenomenon of playing dead, typically associated with avoiding predators, emerged as a standout discovery. Moreover, Dr. Dittrich's experiments dispelled the notion that male frogs prefer larger females as mates. Instead, it was revealed that males are far less selective, seizing any available opportunity to reproduce. In summary, the enchanting world of European common frogs is far more intricate than previously imagined. The ingenuity of the female frogs in repelling overeager males underscores their adaptability and resourcefulness in the face of intense reproductive competition. The frog kingdom, it appears, is full of surprises, even for those who diligently study its mysteries.